Like three mil. Three mil? Like, yeah. Yo, you I broke the scale. Money. I have money. What's going on, guys? Shy Clips here once again. And today we're going to see some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, we have this girlfriend over here. She definitely has some high expectations. But there's no way she really thinks her boyfriend's going to buy her this. Okay, bro, I'm just trying to get a Sony TV. You're going to get it for me, right? For 25, but I'm telling her, bro, I can just get her a TCL 70 inches for 400 bucks, bro. No, What's the difference? Different. You can't even see the colors, you're blind as hell. No, you're not. You're, not getting, you're getting this one. And this next clip is absolutely so sad, and I can't believe there are really some women out there that think like this. This woman's literally on her way to her engagement party while still thinking of her ex. And if you're literally about to get married to someone else and you still have a thought of a person in your past, you should be calling this entire thing off because, well, you're about to break his heart and you don't even really care. What's even more surprising is she decides to share this on social media, and a lot more people in the comments were relating with her, saying things like they'll never forget that special person. Do not date if you still have feelings for someone. One, you are being completely selfish. It hurts my soul to know that there's people who do this because there's people out here who will literally look at you like they're your whole world while you're out here thinking of your ex. And that's so messed up to do to somebody. Like, do people have feelings? We have hearts. We have emotions. You know what I mean? And I think it's so sad that you would let this get this far to the point where you're going to get engaged, but you're still in love with your ex or you still think about your ex. Isn't that mind blowing or messed up to you? Poor guy. He doesn't even know what he's getting himself into. And then to post this is even crazier. I don't know, y'all. I think it's really sad to see how a lot of people in this generation would much rather bounce from person to person than to be by themselves and heal. In this next one, I can't believe how many clips there are of this. Basically, this guy goes around asking all these women, what do you rate a man who doesn't have an iPhone and I guess has an Android? All these women decide to rate him super badly. And I'm like, do you not understand that at least 70% of the world runs on Android? And only around 20% runs an Apple. A 10, but he has an Android phone. What's his new rating? A three. That's a zero. That's horrible. It's a zero. Our pictures for Instagram are going to be terrible. It's green texts and I'm doing blue. I feel like it's a downgrade. iPhone all the way. Why are you having an Android? Go get your money up. Get out of the house. If you don't have an iPhone, you're a nerd. And I'm not doing WhatsApp either. Are you broke? Like, how can you not afford an Apple? And this next one, never do this. I don't care how desperate you get. Never lie about your height. I went on a date and the guy lied about his height. I have been bamboozled because he said on his profile, he was six foot. When I saw him, went to the bathroom just to double check I wasn't really seeing things. He changes to five foot ten. Guys, he was my height. I am five foot. In this next one, we have this delusional calculator over here. I love these kind of videos because it really shows these women that sometimes their expectations are really high. These women be wanting super young men like 22 to 25 and somehow want him to be a millionaire and still really think that that's actually possible to come across. What age does your ideal man have to be? 19 to 25. 25? That's the most age. Uh, what race? Black. What's the minimum height? 5'6 and up. How tall are you? 5'4 and a half. You'll be with a 5'6 dude? Yes, he might be way taller than me, Bookie. 5'6 is almost like not that much taller than you. It is. It's if taller you, than me. If you're wearing heels, you're going to be his height. I don't really wear heels. Only on my birthday. I bet. Can he be obese or not? Nah, I need you scrawny, Buki. What's the minimum income? How much you got to make a year? Four or five thousand a year, yeah. Forty or? Four or five thousand a year. No, no, a year. A year? Yes, a year. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on, I'm stuck in. I'm sorry, I'm drunk. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> like three mil. Three mil? Like, yeah. Yo, you well, broke the scale. Well, what you uh, mean? We're gonna find out if he exists. Oh, sh yo, actually, your guy doesn't even exist. You just say for me. That's it. It's you. It's impossible. Sorry. F you. And this sex was girl has definitely better standards than the woman in the last clip. More dates should be like this. Don't waste your date on spending money and trying to take her out on a lavish place. And actually try getting to know her. For a guy to take you on a first date. I really like somewhere which is like more simple. Like it's more about that you guys have like a good talk rather than going to a very fancy place yeah. and then like it's actually boring. Like but yeah, it doesn't really matter. In this sex one, sometimes people are really just too busy where they can't even do this. How hard is it to send a text? Why can't you just go? Oh, by the way, I'll reply to you later. I'm busy. What the Wrong with something. In this next one, I found this absolutely hilarious, but this did escalate really quickly. Never sound too desperate for a relationship where you end up sounding like this. I'm single. I'm just looking for somebody who likes to have fun and is a fun-loving type gal. 
uh, brunettes are something, and, and so are redheads or blondes. That's, uh, uh, what I really want is someone who will call me and, and will love me because I'm, everyone I know is married and I'm, I don't know anybody or anything and it's just not right when, because I deserve love like anybody else. I don't need to rummage through that down the for a place. In this sex, we have this older woman over here who is still single and let's just say her expectations for what she wants in the next relationship definitely drop. Now, this obviously tends to happen because the older a woman gets, the more she realizes that it's going to be harder to keep a man that she likes. Obviously, I do wish that she realized this when she was younger and took advantage of her age when she was younger, but sadly, some people do hit the wall at a late stage. How old are you? I'm 47. Let's say I wanted to take you out on a date. How much should I spend on that first date? It doesn't matter. If there's a connection, it could be hot dogs in the park. Now, did you feel the same way when you were 22? No. What was the difference? Educating, educating. But after I watch a video like this, I immediately go to the comment section to see what, you know, what's going on. And then I come across comments like this, not picking on this guy in particular, because there are plenty just like this. After the age of 35, do y'all feel like it's harder to find love? from that age and now just like the last clip we have kevin over here i guess also humbling this single mother who doesn't want to settle for an average man for some odd reason once again she thinks like she is the best of the best and she's still able to pull a really high valued man it is super important for people to realize men and women to understand where they stand in a dating market same goes for broke men if you are broke and you're not making any money why do you deserve a beautiful woman by your side and why do you think you're still gonna somehow keep her you are too old too many miles to be demanding high prices you want to ask for more from the next guy than you did for the guy who got you when you were younger and hadn't had any children and it's unreasonable and what percentage of men in this country earn five hundred thousand dollars or more um as far as i know i think it's about eight percent or i'm um, sorry five hundred thousand one percent right and i need you to be brutally honest with yourself are you a 1% kind of woman? No, I'm not in the top 1% at all. But I didn't ask for that. You kind of gave me those numbers. I didn't well, no, that. I asked you what you wanted. You said you wouldn't want to have to work and you want a big family. So whether you want to have $500,000 guy, what we do know is a $50,000 a year guy, which is middle of the road, won't do for a family of five. And this sex list is absolutely hilarious. This guy is definitely known on the internet for, I guess, going up to women and saying the most out-of-pocket things ever and somehow still pulling them. You can definitely say it's his confidence and his looks, but just the way he shoots his shot, you can tell he just doesn't care about the reaction. Excuse me, ladies. And what's so damn funny? I didn't even say nothing yet. I just wanted to come because I thought you guys were beautiful. Thank you. Aww. Yeah. She said, oh, <laughs> what's up? What's your name? Mariola. McQueen, yeah. nice to meet you. Mary, nice Mary, to meet you. Mary, nice to meet you. I want to let you guys know when I saw you, my oh, or damn, <laughs> you know, give me your number, please. Mary Warner. Damn. Man, what? Uh, clearly the real one. I like your shoes. Thank I like you. y'all shoes. Are y'all best friends or something? Yeah. We the yin yangs, baby. The yin yang. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, for sure. Well, listen to me, Miss Yin Yang. I'm gonna go and use the bathroom since I got your number. Is this your real number? Yeah. We can go get some drinks later, okay? Please. Just wanted to let you know, uh, you be turning me on when you be shaving off your. What? <laughs> I'm just letting you know that, you know, if, if we were to ever get together, because I think you're very beautiful, you'd have to shave your turns me on, you know what I'm saying? So you're not into like, not even like a little bit? Nah, no, nah, I don't want no, no bits of hair, I don't want no follicle, I don't want to see nothing, no follicle, I don't want to see nothing. just wanted to come over here and say I think you're very beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, what's your name? Leilani. I'm McQueen, nice to meet you. Nice. You know, listen, last time, you know, I f you know, her I might use lotion with you, you know? Damn. I can feel this already, you know what I'm saying? You can feel it too? Yeah. yeah. Okay, for sure. That's hard. That's hard. Okay. I could get some Instagram though. Uh, sure. So if we're already talking about popping and you know, all this, you know, then uh, I don't see why an Instagram would be an issue. In this text, we have this woman over here who's speaking up about a story she heard from another woman. Now, she is talking about how girls will say, how am I the only one single out of all of my friends? Some of my friends are engaged, some are married, some have boyfriends, and I'm over here, some other reason, being single. Now, the issue isn't the other men, and the issue is definitely with you and your standards. You gotta put that ego aside in order for you to actually settle with someone else. So I received a message from a young woman, and basically what she was saying is that her best friend just got married and her cousin just got engaged and she just can't understand what the heck is going on because neither of them are even as cute as her and she's been on the market for so long and then they both end up with rings before her. 
And you know, this really bothered me because this is such a common trend amongst women that nobody wants to talk about. And if you don't believe me, go to anybody's page that you see where a woman is posed with a man or getting married and she's a little heavy set or even a lot heavy set or she's not attractive as to what society says is attractive, right? Read those comments. You'll see women saying stuff like, oh, I just know it's somebody for me. Oh, what am I doing wrong? I can't believe this. Basically, it's not so subtle shade because y'all are so ego driven that y'all really believe that just because you cute, you deserve to be somebody's wife. Y'all really believe that just because you cute, you deserve to be somebody's wife. Like for real, inside of your mind, that is the prerequisite to being a wife. Be cute. And it baffles me because at the end of the day, if we're really going to get real with ourselves, ladies, y'all don't even want to be wives. You don't want to be a wife. No, you want to have a wedding. There's a big difference. You want to take pictures for the gram. You want to go on a honeymoon. You want to wear the ring. You want to look at me. You want the attention. You don't want to be married to nobody. You, you don't have the capacity to be married to anybody. In this next one, I can't believe there are women like this. This is not something to joke about, especially since it has to do with religion. Some women really be saying the dumbest things on podcasts just to shout out their OnlyFans. It's work for Jesus, actually. Okay. Hey, look, we'll play a gospel song right now. We're going to see what you can do. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, Jesus, is, his funds never run out. Like, his dollars just keep coming. Exactly. Like, they twerking for these niggas. That's work for God. Mm. Mm. I like that analogy. Yeah. Now you do for real? Yeah, so do. you twerk to I got. You better twerk to this motherfucking hand. Isn't awesome? Y'all hear right? Wah, 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 you going, you going ahead. Now, I guess correlated to what I said about how some women be saying the stupidest things on podcasts, here is a perfect example of one. There is no educational value in these clips. There is literally nothing. Sometimes they think that they're being funny, but I don't see this as amusing at all. You're just kind of destroying your reputation and letting the world know that you're pretty much a disgusting human. What's considered a big 15. So I've had 15? A, I've had 15 inches. I didn't think that existed. Hell yeah, girl. I thought eight. These people eight. be big as fuck hung. Like, who raised you? Like, where you get that from? Like, was that... And you can't get, like, surgery to get that. Mm, no, it's real. I'm like, why? You got that big ass... How do you prepare your vagina? Like... You pray and you drink some tequila. <laughs> now, finally, for the worst clip, guys, basically, we have this woman over here. She ends up friend zoning this guy that she was talking to. And I guess she was super surprised when she realized that this man was ghosting her. Men nowadays are definitely getting fed up with getting friend zoned and they don't want to deal with that anymore. And they start to realize, why am I going to deal with the woman who is friend zoning me, making it super hard, where I'm going to take her out on dates and spend money, where I can just go for someone else who's actually going to respect me and give me a shot. I just got rejected in the absolute weirdest way possible. I met this guy and we kind of like hit it off in like a friend way. Hold on to that now. They hit it off in like a friend way. Keep that in mind. And he was like, if you ever want to go out sometime, like, let me know. I'm like, okay, perfect. I texted him and he wanted to go on like a double date with my friend and I. So it was like, perfect. So he had one of his guy friends, like kind of set it up with my friend. And I just got this text today and let me show you what he said. Hey, Braylee, I didn't want to ghost you, so I figured I'd just text. I think you and your friend are way out of mine in my homies league. So we both decided to not put together a date night, so we don't, I'm assuming he meant to just say, waste our time. You're super hot and are going to do great here in Arizona. Best wishes. I think you kind of know why he bailed on you. Because he could tell that this wasn't going to be anything more than a friendship. Hey, like, what is going on? Because I've never heard of this in my life. I don't know how to take it. Um, I don't think I'm going to respond because I'm just like, do you guys have girlfriends? Like, what is happening? It really had nothing to do with y'all being out of their league. It was that you thought you were out of their league. And I guarantee they picked up on it. Well, that's it for you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys want more content like this, please check out the links in the top. It will definitely help my channel out. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.